Hi guys. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate the uh, engine swing uh, as it's come to be known. So I'm just here at Queenstown and entering the uh, Anpov 1 Delta departure. Just have to enter N cover again because it's not on there for some reason. Perhaps it's too close to the airfield or not off the center line. And in curve has 175 max, and we have to pass it above 4600 feet. So the first part of this SID has a visual circuit around a hill. And then we rejoin the SID at NCOV. Uh, so this is best demonstrated with variable pitch, uh, variable thrust mode. And the only way I can see to get that active is to disable the flight director. Okay, I've turned the co-pilot off so we can um, play around with a few things. Alright, let's get started. Take off. Actually, now I have it. Flex and SRS. Check. Now I have. Power set. Huh. Great. Not to worry. One hundred knots. Checked. Beat one. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. So the visual circuit is around this hill here. Uh. Gears up, lights off. Flaps one, climb thrust. Speed check, flaps one. <sighs> Can't turn her off. So I was going to turn the uh, uh, co-pilot off to demonstrate if I turn the flight director on it will go into a fixed thrust mode and I would shoot way past the 175 knots rather than ma maintaining it. Got the co-pilot's on she'll put the flaps up and then won't be able to retain that speed and then we'll go toga and have a drama on our hand. So you can already hear some of the thrust swinging. Got a fairly consistent rate, climb rate. Doesn't fit a minute. Uh, but it's sort of blipping on and off to maintain that speed. Rather than somewhere in the middle. a little bit too close to that hill. Not sure if this departure is done on a nice day, they probably just do a visual departure, but um, 
It's a bit of fun with a turn at 500 feet. Kind of New Zealand's own Innsbruck. Scenery by Orbix. Okay, so I've got to pass that first point at above 4600 feet. So we'll get a wriggle on up there. where the best way I can I've found that I can demonstrate it hopefully consistently if other people give it a go of course if I turn the autopilot on it will resume fixed thrust mode and um, set a nice climb rate and not swim. Next speed restriction is 210 knots. Flap zero. Speed check, flap zero. Frame rate, take frame rate checklist. Checklist. Engine hold selector. Check normal. Spoilers. Disarmed. Flaps. Check retracted. Landing gear. Gear up, lights off. Exterior lights. Set off. Autopilot on. Both on. Anti ice. Off. T cast. Checked. Altimeter. One zero one three. One zero one three. Check. Checklist complete. So I just found if I set a climb rate, then I can get um, a variable pitch mode as well, a uh, variable thrust mode as well. So let's see if it does it with the autopilot on. So, nearing 220. Speed's coming back. This is not so bad. So perhaps it's worse at lower speeds. Autopilot off. Or if I turn the autopilot off, what happens? Try and hold ten thousand uh thousand feet a minute. Yes, this is good. So it might just be lower speeds. Anyway, hopefully this is reproducible on other people's systems and maybe it will help you out a little bit in trying to uh, smooth out the engines. But other than that, thanks for uh, an otherwise brilliant product. Cheers.